Hey guys, I am going to be showing you my updated makeup collection video. Um, I get messaged about this all the time and um, a lot of people always comment on my last video which was in June I think of last year. I did do a storage update a couple, a few weeks ago or something. I didn't go through my collection or anything but um, that's what I'm going to do now because I do get a lot of requests for that and also I am going to be doing a nail polish collection I know I've been saying that forever but I have so many I have a Ikea Helmer that is completely full and um, I've been storing some of my nail polishes in my Louis Vuitton box so I'm going to be getting another one of those uh, so I do like my setup it's very convenient like I said and I'm also going to be doing a perfume collection video because that's another thing that I get questions on so when you start making makeup videos don't just hoard makeup think about what you're buying because eventually down the road you're gonna start thinking a lot more about what you're buying and stuff like that so I just wanted to kind of tell you guys that so anyway um, on to the makeup collection okay so this is what it looks like um, the last time I showed you I had a different chair but I got a um, at, like a rolling chair because it's just easier and this is just the blanket my grandma made many many years ago um, so sorry for the messy desk um, I haven't cleaned it off yet but um, so underneath I have some shoes my garbage can um, and then this container over here contains like jewelry and extra stuff so that's not really any makeup um, but it yeah so anyway up here um, I got this a long long time ago and um, in here is just um, moisturizers I keep them in here because it was less I don't know I, I mean it takes up just as much room as it was if they were on here but I just like having them all together in here and on top I've had these for eons q-tips and makeup what are those things called you know then I have proactive stuff um, my toner, a makeup remover, makeup remover, makeup remover, EOS lip balms. Back there I have my tanner, so I have the um, faux tan, the Saint Tropez, and Zen Tan for the face, and then I have my all nighter setting spray, um, my grease lightning, and then in here, this is a container I got at Walmart, and it has three little sections. I got this during the back to school sale. I think it was maybe two bucks or something. So in here I have all my shade sticks. These are some e.l.f. matte lip things. Um, eyebrow stuff and then my MAC liners. Those are all in there. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, my Rapid Lash. So that's all in there. And then these things I always get tons of questions about. So, so these things are the X cubes. And I got these from, oh my gosh, I don't remember where I got them from, but I know an office, like at Office Max or whatever, they retail for like 14 bucks, and that's so expensive. Um, I think I paid around 7 bucks each. Um, so instead of $14 each, I got them for 7 bucks each, something like that. I'll try and find the website, but it was a long, long time ago that I got them. Um, but in here I have all my like drugstore stuff in here so I have Victoria's Secret, NYX, um, what else is in there? Jessie's Girl, Revlon, LA Splash, stuff like that. Over here I have all my MAC and higher end so MAC, NARS, um, Smashbox, Urban Decay, uh, what brand is that again? Rock and Republic and then like these are all MAC and then these are all MAC. Um, dazzle glasses and the only reason why I se separate them like that is because all these Jessie's Girl and Revlon fit well together in the LA Splash and the next ones fit well together and these ones are together and these ones and my Mac as you can see takes up like a whole section so I like I don't want you to think oh I think that Mac's you know superb and that's why I do that but anyway up here um, my phone um, oh, I love my phone like this it's the Rebby don't look at that whatever I think it's so cute and then this is my tripod and then I have some things up here I need to review um, I want to put these nails on next time um, and then I'm going to review this and I just got this so Starbucks drink hold on my throat hurts okay so this is another one of those pink containers that I got from Walmart and in there contains 
different eyeliners from other companies. Um, I don't know why that's in there. Um, and then like eye bases that are non-MAC. So Urban Decay and some Rimmel. And then just like colored bases pretty much. Um, my brush, my brushes. All my brushes are in here. These are a combination of MAC, Sigma, Beauty, or Essence, whatever they're called, I can't remember. Um, and that is a tool turnabout that I got from Sh Pampered Chef. Um, so you can, I'll link that down below too. Um, yeah, and I love that. So right here, this is some stuff I need to review. Um, the company sent me these nail polishes. Um, a washcloth that I wipe off like my hands and stuff on. These are some Revlon lip butters that I'm giving away in a separate video. This um, is a haul I need to film and so are these. These are new NYX products and this is the MAC Shop collection. And then I just have my Fix Plus. This is their Graftobian setting stuff for your like liquid liner and whatever. This is the um, Physician's Formula um, what's this called? Healthy Wear thing majigger. But I have only tried it one time and wasn't a big fan, so I'm going to give it another try, but we'll see. So this is the Mount Malm, Ikea Malm drawer, and this is what it looks like. So, um, right here you're going to see this little drawer thing, this little organizer thing, and this one. And I got those from TJ Maxx. Um, they were all around $5.99, I believe. So this one over here has three sections. And in this first section, oh, over here is my makeup wipes. First section is highlighters and bronzers. So I have my two MSF ends. Uh, my The Balm, MAC, Loose, what's this called? Silver Dusk, I think, yep. My um, Laura Mercé Illuminator. And um, just a side note, I have heard that the Modern, Mer modern Mercury, Mercury, however you say that, um, from... Best Day Lauder has been cited at CCO, so if anyone sees that at the CCO, please let me know and I will send you money if you can pick one up for me too. Anyway, that's in this first section. This section is blushes that I use more regularly, um, and this changes all the time. This drawer changes all the time to what I'm more using. So in here I have some e.l.f. blushes, um, my Dream Bouncy Blush, Milani, MAC, and a couple NYX. So, that always changes. Back here are all my perfume samples and roller balls. There's a ton of them and I will go through that in my um, fragrance collection. This is my Chanel Bronzer Universal. There. Um, sorry, I'm going to show you this again more zoomed in just so you can see. But anyway, and clearer. So this is all my concealers and stuff like that. This is a P2, um, or not P2, Catrice Cosmetics Primer, like a face primer. And again, these are just like eye brightening stuff and concealers and a concealer brush I love. So that's all that's in here. Then in this section is lip stuff. So I have my Cora's Lip Butter, my some MAC Tender Tones, e.l.f., Balm, um, skin, Honey Skin Salve, another like salve from Victoria's Secret, lip conditioners, NYX lip conditioner. And then back here is one big section. This this step, or this or uh, organizer is three smaller sections and then a big section. And back here I have my um, NYX jumbo pencils and then my mascara. So that's what's in that part. Then in this part I have um, eyeliners. So, and like, um, this should be over here. Um, Eyeliners, I have this because that's what I use to um, keep my eyebrow hairs on because you guys know that that's an issue for me and it works amazing. Um, so anyway, I have eyeliners in here, black track, and just different eyeliners. And it, this is a lip pencil, but anyway. Okay, this section is eye, eyeshadow bases So I have in primer. So I have, this is the LA Splash one. My P2, this is um, Painterly Paint Pot. Um, MAC Paint, and what's this one called? Still Life. Really like that. Urban Decay Primers, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, Victoria's Secret, stuff like that. Okay, and this one is some tools. So I have my eyebrow razor thing thingies, my sharpeners, 
This is the, this is a Jessie's Girl. This is the, it's just like that Graftobian that transforms anything into an eyeliner. So that's in here, um, scissors for my eyebrows and sharpeners. And then this is my eyebrow color stuff. In this one, it is just random eyeshadows that I'm really liking at the moment. So, um, I have my Bare Minerals. I don't know what this thing is called. It's the rose gold one. This is an eyeshadow I got from Mexico that I'm like obsessed with. My um, Hip Duo and Electrify that you guys know I love. Now I can't get it to fit. And I'm, if I'm breathing loud, I'm sorry guys, I'm sick. So, anyway, then this is this Victoria's Secret shimmer base. Wet n Wild, Lorac. And just bits and bobs in there of different shadows. And again, this always changes. It just depends on what I'm more wearing. And then this one is um, my Soho Beauty Blender. My primer, uh, L'Oreal primer. My translucent powder from Vichy. And then the, what's this one? Air Spun. And then back here are all my palettes. These are my, not my all my palettes, but my MAC palettes. And then these are my um, Inglot palettes. So that is that drawer. So this, sorry, let me close this one. So this is the Ikea Alex dresser, and it is six drawers. It's three smaller, three larger, and um, I think this was around $180. Um, and on top are all my perfumes and lotions, but I am going to be doing that in a separate video. So the first drawer is my foundations and eyelashes, and I like to have my eyelashes easily accessible so that's why they're up here um, <clears throat> in this drawer. So back there I have two physicians formulas. Um, a lot of the times when I have like, um, a, like a drugs, what I'll do is mix like a high-end um, foundation and a lower-end foundation like in the summer when I'm a little darker. So that's kind of why sometimes you see doubles of things. So I have MAC and Rimmel Cover Girl, Annabelle, this is my sunscreen, this is Vichy, MAC, Studio Liquid and Studio Cream, Revlon Photo Ready, and Color Stay, MAC Face and Body, MAC, um, Pro Longwear, Laura Mercier, Cores, Stila, which breaks me out, so that's sad because I love how it looks, Revlon Age Defying, Chanel, Lumiere Aqua, Estee Lauder, Double Wear, um, a primer, this is like that, um, Neutrogena 3-in-1, my Bobbi Brown, or not my Bobbi Brown, my Benefit Rebel, Nano Blur, this is a, a BB cream from um, Glamorous or something, I don't remember, I don't remember, BRTC, yeah, BRTC, MAC Studio Fluid, Bio Oil for scars and stuff like that, um, Maybelline Dream Smooth Most Mary Kay. This is a concealer. So then these are some concealers. Another BB cream. Sorry. Another BB cream. Some more eyelashes. My Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush. Love that stuff. This stuff I haven't really used yet, but I heard that it's not very good. So I'm kind of iffy about that. Um, sorry that my nails look like a hot mess. It's um, Zoya something with the um, Sally Hansen Treasure, Hidden Treasure on top. And I put... Um, out the door top coat. Hate it. It doesn't not work nearly as well as Sachet Vite. Anyway, um, and then we have some highlighters over here. Um, then we have like Bare, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, Shimmer Mineral Veil, NARS um, highlighters, Elizabeth Arden Foundation. So that is that drawer. Okay, second drawer is my blushes and MSFs. So all up here and right here are all my MAC MSFs. Um, I do have a video on those, so I will link that somewhere in here of just those. And then I have some Benefit blushes. These are Benefit, so this is Bella Bomba, 10, Coralista, and Hervana. And then these are um, Hard Candy. This is Victoria's Secret. This is my... Um, Tarte bronzer. This is my e.l.f. bronzer, Bobbi Brown, Shimmer Brick, Dior, Amber Diamond, e.l.f. blush. These are my NARS blushes, Rockin' Republic, 
um, Wet n Wild, Physician's Formula, Hard Candy, and Elf. And then these are all my MAC um, blushes that are not in a palette. In here, oops, in here back there, um, I have two, or no, three palettes of blushes. So um, those are all my blushes that are not in palettes. So that's everything in here. And then this one are single eyeshadows and palettes. So up here I have all my Wet n Wild palettes. Then we have some um, L'Oreal and Revlon and CoverGirl. Um, and then you can see that I have my two naked palettes. And then these are some uh, Maybelline. Then I have my Makeup Forever HD palette. I have my Too Faced palette back there, or not my Too Faced, yeah, two of my Too Faced palettes back there. And then over there I have some more um, Wet n Wild, I have Lorac back there, and Tarte. And then I have Bobbi Brown, NARS, MAC, Too Faced, um, MAC, MAC. And then back there, uh, I can't even see it, but back there is a bunch of NARS ones. Then L'Oreal and Infallibles and like Stila, Victoria's Secret over there. Um, and then these are all MAC. All of these. And then these are like LA Splash, um, Bare Minerals, and Elf, and whatnot. So there's a mishmash of about everything in that drawer. Um, I have all of my MAC pigments right here. These are all MAC. Back there in that thing are all MAC samples. And then a glitter, a uh, pack of glitters. Those are all my glitter eyeliners and liquid eyeliners um, from Urban Decay to NYX. And then in here are random um, glitter uh, eyeliners again. So here we have Urban Decay. And then we have um, Ulta brand. And then I have some single eyeshadows back here. These are, these are Makeup Forever Aqua Creams. These are all my MAC paint pots and Stila smudge pots. And then I have my Maybelline 24 hour tattoo color eyeshadows up there. Then these are um, Beauty from the Earth, I think. Yeah. And these are front or face front cosmetics. I'm back again at MAC. So that's everything in that drawer. It's a bunch of loose eyeshadows. And if you guys have watched my previous makeup collection videos, you guys know that I used to have a ton more mineral eyeshadows and those are part of the ones that I'm going to be selling in a blog post so um, if you're interested stay tuned to my channel and you'll see when I have my ginormous blog sale because there's going to be lots of stuff um, I don't use all my MAC pigments but I collect them um, because I love them so if I wasn't collecting them I definitely would sell a lot of them but um, maybe someday okay <clears throat> fifth drawer are my lipsticks um, so back there are my lip glosses that will not fit in my X-Cube. I think I can now because I have more room, but, um, there's like two lip glosses that won't. Then I have my lip liners in there, and these are all my lip gelays over here. And then I have one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these lip containers. Um, six are full. Um, and if you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I, sh I showed a picture of all my, these are all MAC. Those are some backups. These are the Maybelline kiss things, whatever you call them. Then over here, over there I have my YSL, Chanel, Estee Lauder. Then I have my OCC Lip Tars, um, and stuff like that. These containers I got from the um, container store. So that's where I got them. I think they hold, um, 24 each. Yeah, 24 each. So, that's my lipstick drawer. And then the bottom drawer, which is not exciting at all, are my larger palettes. So my Urban Decay NYC palette, Alice in Wonderland, and then I have some Stark Naked palettes, um, a... Coastal Sense palette, some e.l.f. palettes, and then this little palette that I'm going to review for you guys. Alright, so there you have it. That is my makeup collection. Um, I, I forgot to say in the beginning that I'm not showing this to break or anything like that, but I love watching makeup collection videos. I know I have way more than I need. Um, obviously, I don't need this much makeup. I don't need 
half of it. But I like having multiple kinds of makeup. I do makeup for other people. I have a freelance makeup kit and stuff like that. So um, I'm not going to show you that just because it's going to be duplicates of everything you've seen. Mostly um, I use the same stuff in my kit that I use on myself because that's what I like. Um, so <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm not doing this to Bray, like I said. It's because I get a lot of questions um, on my makeup collection and a lot of people ask about storage ideas and, um, you know, asking just to see my collection. And, um, I also wanted to say that the mirror that you guys saw is just a body mirror that I got at Walmart or Target or something like that. And it's just horizontal. And then above that, um, the lights I have, um, I actually got at Home Depot and then I wired it myself because it's meant to be wired into the wall for a switch, but I just wired it to have a plug in on it so I could just plug it into my outlet. So, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so I think that's everything that I needed to go through. Um, like I said, I am going to be doing a separate fragrance collection and nail polish collection. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. I will list all the information down below that you need on the desk and everything like that. Um, but yeah. Um, and then also the glass on top of my desk. I always get questions about that, but it came with my desk. And like I said, this is the IKEA Mom desk. So I don't know, I mean, I came with mine and I bought mine two years ago, I think, I believe. So anyway, uh, take care everyone and I will see you in my next video. Bye.